Okay, so how am I grateful for my losses and for my wins? Okay, so first off, I'm going to talk about winning first. Okay. Uh, there have been times, bro, in the last 12 months, and uh, I don't say this. I don't really want to put this out too much. But there have been times in the last 12 months, dude, where I've got comfortable, even if it was for a day, even if it was for an hour, even if it was for three minutes where I got comfortable. Okay. On my come up, and I'm still on my come up, you know, I bought some real estate recently. But on my come up, I'm going to go back to like 2015, where I'm working one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, going to sleep on my laptop. I'm not saying that's right. I'm not saying that's what you should do, but I'm, that's what I, I've been doing for many years. I'm not really falling asleep on my laptop these days. So the way up, it was, it was, it was fucking 18 hours, 20 hours a day, nonstop, like a psycho. Okay. So, you know, I might say, man, I, you know, I bought more supercars in the city of San Diego than anybody in, in, in all of San Diego, which is true. Go ask Lamborghini La Jolla. They'll tell you. Okay. They invited me to a party and I asked them, they're like, Mike, you're the guy. So what I got to do is I got to be thankful for what we've done and what we, what, you know, what I've achieved. I got to be thankful. I got to be thankful for, you know, some of the, the cool stuff that's happened for our family, financial freedom, health, but not for one second. Can I get complacent and think that this shit cannot all go away? Cause it can't. And what you got to realize Theo is that we're all paycheck to paycheck everybody's paycheck to paycheck. I'm paycheck to paycheck, but some of us have a bigger nut. Your nut means your overhead. So, you know, like I believe my lifestyle is close to a hundred thousand dollars a month right now. And not to say I'm so, so cool, but it's a close to that. Uh, my car notes alone are over $20,000. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it you know, I, 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 you know, it's crazy. In 50, when I, one, one second, when I was doing in 2015, you know, work, store a little bit of cash, have some decent food, pay for, you know, my BMW. It's the same shit now. Work, store a little bit of money, eat some nice food, pay for my fleet of Lamborghinis and supercars, whatever. Okay. So what, let me answer the question though. I'm thankful for what I have, but I know that can go away. Okay. So like, I never stop letting off the gas. I never stop giving gratitude. I never stop, you know, thinking, I, I, I'm not going to get up here and talk about Jesus Christ. I do believe in Jesus, Jesus but I'm never going to stop you know, being thankful for the life and the opportunity in the, in, in the universe that's been created for me from, from the higher up, you know. Um, does that answer your question, man? It definitely does, Mike. I really appreciate that. I wrote that yeah. down. Got and, that. And, and, and then, Gabriel, one thing I do know is this. I remember just going hard. I remember hoping, wishing, praying that one day we're going to be great. One day we, meaning like my family, you know, one day we're going to have these, these nice things and be able to go to these awesome vacations in Hawaii and do all, like, I'm just like one day, one day it's going to happen. I know it. Okay. So a lot of work and energy went into that. Okay. But I know that everything I've ever done as a 38 year old man got me here right here. Today is, is what, what time is it? 11, 13 right now. On November 5th, 2022. Exactly. Everything I've ever done got me here. But I do know that in order to go where I where I am going to go, okay, what what got me here will not get me to the next. I'm going to have to get new information. I'm going to get I'm going to have to get around different networks. I'm going to have to definitely work smarter and possibly work even harder. Okay, so Gabriel, there's something I do, man, that very few people do. I put a lot of pressure on myself, okay, to force myself to the next. It's called leapfrog theory. Okay, so for example. I just, I, you know, I'm good. I'm okay. You know, like net worth is north of, you know, a couple mil now. I just bought a, a, a piece of real estate. The tenants there are paying about half the market. Okay. So like the apartment's going to, should be like, you know, 2,500. They're paying like 1,200. They've been there 10 years, month to month. Okay. So I'm good. I'm comfortable. I'm chilling. I go buy a fucking little thing, a project to keep me busy. Now I've got to deal with the tenants oh shit, all the damn water heaters are out. Oh damn, you know, my my mortgage is more expensive than the rent. So I'm losing like literally six Gs each month on this deal until I rehab it, get the right. Like I, I, I do these, these things, I take these leaps, which is nothing, I'm not gonna die, to force myself to the next. Another example of that is, you know, I'm like, 
I'm on a Lamborghini, man. You know, I'm not really sure how much they cost, but I, you know how much it is per month, but I want a Lamborghini. Got a nice little Mercedes E-Class. I'm like, okay, let's go get a Lamborghini. So my car note goes from like 800 to like 4,000, like that. So I, 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 what I do is I go, it's called necessity level. I actually light a fire under my own ass, which forces me to go and produce. So like, it, sometimes it sounds stupid. Like, why the fuck did this man buy four supercars? Why is this man paying $22,000 in car notes? And then, you know, another $4,000 in insurance, 25 G's. It, it, I get it and it forces me to produce. It's called leapfrog theory. You, you, you have to take that leap. And I know that one of two things is gonna happen. I'm gonna rise to the occasion or I'm, I'm gonna die. Die means it goes back to the bank and I don't die.